Hi, gentlemen. I gave you the rules in there. Fight hard, fight clean, touch them up. Let's go! You got adrenaline. There's the left hand. Juke here. Close fight, so... There we see that. Only one big shot. Hosted by Mario Lopez and one of the classic team. Made him miss. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. I'm trying to make him fail. Look at the way he cut the angle on that. Really impressive. Mike oh, right oh, right oh, right yes. Another... Uh, I'll leave right here. Last minute check. You hear me? Good decision right here. At the end of the round, but I, not enough. Big miss there with the left hand. Took his pace to it. His age. Yeah. He did There's a double left hook by Tyson. Okay, I'll come in the room yeah, after. Right <laughs> I never believed that Mike Tyson could pull his punches. I'd never seen him pull his punches. But with Roy Jones, a four-time champion of the world, Mike hit him a body shot, and he he, he he sickened Roy Jones with that body shot. But Mike didn't go for the finish. Ah, you could tell. And he carried Roy Jones to the final belt. I was happy that he did it, especially for Roy Jones. So Jake Paul would have seen this. Mm -hmm. I'd never seen it before. I do believe that Mike will pull his punches with Jake because there's no way that Jake Paul could take a full force punch from Mike Tyson. Got to promote the fight. They've got to sell the fight. Do you understand? The fan base has got to watch the fight. But I still think it's just going to be an occasion for Jake Paul to share the ring like I said, one of the greatest heavyweights of all time. And I don't think that, that, that it's going to be a proper tear-up. I think that it's going to be a sparring session. Punch is hurt. Jake Paul will get hurt. Do you understand? He will get hurt. But I don't think that Mike will, 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 will throw full force. I think Mike will carry him. Did Mike Tyson's former sparring partner just confirm that the fight is rigged? I look at him as a killer. He is, Mike. That's, well, that's how I look at him. And he's getting, like, better and better. It's crazy. I know this. I know that's why I got to get him before he gets too good. Something changed. We're like, man, I be watching him hit the bag now, and, like, he's really a boxer. And this is what I learned through my 58 years of experience. Well, my experience is that anyone's capable of killing you. Anyone's capable of killing you, so you should be apprehensive for anyone. So I look at him at that, and I... I my objectives like this, so they're capable of killing me. I'm, I don't sleep on them. I'm not um, over overconfident with anybody in life. The thing is, can he catch a 28-year-old guy who's at the top of his career, who's winning legitimate boxing matches? I mean, he's beating former UFC world champions. You know, he had that very good fight with uh, Tommy Fury, who's a legitimate boxer. You know, which was a very good fight. You know, he just beat up Mike Perry, who's a bare knuckle champion. I mean, it's a, uh, he's a real fighter. He can fight. <laughs> Diesel, Diesel, square-headed, destroying machine, fast twitch muscle fiber. It's orgasmic sometimes. Mm. Father man, the family man, they want to bring me back to debauchery and violence. And ah, these scar phones. When I think I'm out, they bring me back here. You can't have no three weeks, having to smoke, two and a half weeks, having to smoke, I have that sex for two and a half weeks. I've been doing the whole so what are we? Three months out. Yeah. And you're and you're you're already like looking like you're ready to tear some. But that's how it appears to be at this moment. That's only 10% how fighters train right there. That's, that's, it's nothing, right then it's nothing. That's how fighters warm up. And so he's gonna have to um, get very familiar with that kind of lifestyle of fighting. This one's got far, he, how much he wants and how far can he go? How far he wants to go before he says no. Be in shape, be in good shape, because your health depends on it. <laughs> <laughs> Who else 
else can do it but me. Who else is he gonna fight? We got a YouTuber fighting the greatest fighter that ever lived. Do you think he, he's ever stood across from a man with the sort of intentions you can have inside a ring? Well, he may have been in the ring with people with the same intention, but the actuality, no. Should he be scared? He should be very scareful, yeah. <laughs> Let's go, be careful. I, I think he's a mitt warrior. The Instagram videos are cute, but we'll see what happens in the ring on November 15th at the end of the day. We'll see if he still got it. Mike Tyson definitely dominated this sparring session, but it looks like he got hit a few times on the way in. The head guard makes his head a bigger target. Without it, I think he'd be even slicker. Do you think he could knock Jake Paul out in November? Let me know in the comments below and hit like if you hope he does. In this world with hormone replacement and vitamins and nearly, and he does all this like um, uh, electrical muscular stimulation mm -hmm. recovery stuff. Like when they were training Mike for that Roy Jones fight, like they were using state-of-the-art yeah, science yeah, yeah like i don't give a f if you think he's 55 years old that guy will hurt yeah. you an exponent of the art of fighting i'm a, I'm a f student of war man alexander and napoleon i know them all i read them all i studied them all i know the art of fight i know the art of war that's all i ever studied when you get challenged by someone who's a a guy like a jake paul does that piss you off is it part all. part of it that just like my um no it doesn't I don't no? think I think it's awesome. You think it's awesome? <laughs> yeah, it's gonna piss me <laughs> off. I think it's awesome cool. <laughs> you think it's cool? That's awesome. That's awesome that you, you handle it that way. Because like in a way, I mean, it's it's kinda insulting. It's brave, it's bold of him, but it's also, it's like levels to this world. Like you reached a state as a human being, as a champion, as a ferocious fighter. You reached a state of, of ability and of accomplishment that very few humans will ever, ever touch and feel. That's why I'm asking you, when you're running, when you're hitting the bag, when that heart's beating again, and the, you know who you are, you're Mike motherfucking Tyson. So when you're doing all this shit again, you're still Mike Tyson. Those thoughts have got to be burning inside you again. It's got to be pretty wild. Hit like on the video if you hope Mike Tyson knocks this Disney clown out in November.